I think the big thing with Pinal County as opposed to other counties and other surrounding like jobs is we're such a smaller facility and it's like a tight-knit family group. I think that working in a bigger facility sometimes you lose that person-to-person -person interaction and sometimes you become more of a number. We call each other by our first names, you do potlucks and things like that. I've been in other environments to where staff don't really care to get to know each other but here it's, it's a very close-knit community. That's something that I kind of liked in the crossover from where I'm from to where I'm at now. Watched all the movies and things like that. I saw, you know, what society showed of what a detention facility would be, um, and it's nothing like that. They ask you, what are you expecting? And then they kind of help you gauge your expectations to what reality is here. There's no real surprises you kind of are shown at face value what it's going to be like working here when you come in and you're being trained. Working with the kids, going to school with them, helping them with doing their schoolwork, um, helping them with some of their social skills, developing positive um, coping skills and things like that. So it was a lot different than what I watched on movies and things like that. They're actually really respectful. Like, you, you think that a lot of the kids here are they have authority issues and they don't like adults or whatever, but they're actually very, very respectful. When they're in structured environments, they know what's expected of them, they do great. Of course, they all have their tipping points where you know, you're not seeing the best side of them, but again, that's when you remember that they're, they're kids and you're teaching them how to react better and how to put their frustrations into more positive outcomes. We do a lot of hand-in-hand -hand work with them, so whether it's you know, teaching them how to play basketball, helping them get through a GED testing, helping them get themselves ready for the future, structure themselves to get out into the community and be a, an outstanding citizen when they do get out of detention. The youth aren't in their cells all day long. Majority of their time is spent out in the day room, in the rec yard, in education. Outdoor area, I think that's our big selling point. You know, a lot of facilities do not have an outdoor recreational yard like ours. A lot of kids don't have that chance to see the sun or have fresh air outside. We just put in a very nice track, and we also have a very, very large outdoor basketball court. You know, just working with some of these other counties, and a lot of those facilities do not have the capacity for that. Our educational wing is nice because they're all different classrooms with different teachers. We do a very good job of educating our kids and, and getting them to the next steps. I think there's a lot of promotional opportunity if that's the direction you want to go. If detention's what you want to be a part of, there are so many opportunities here. There's so many ways that you can use your talents. There's always room for advancement. You start off as a detention officer, you promote into a lead officer position. A lot of the stepping stones for our probation officers now, they, most of them started in, in detention. So they know what it's like to interact with the individuals in a secured setting. It's learning those uh, communication skills with those individuals while they're under our care here. Working in juvenile detention isn't your typical nine to five job. A lot of the reasons why people come work here is because you're not doing the same thing every single day. One day you could be engaging on the unit and then the next minute you're out in the rec yard playing a game of basketball. I don't think it's necessarily the, the measure of what your educational background is. I think as long as you're a person that can interact with people respectfully, positively, and influence them in a way that they can drive change in their behaviors, I think you're going to do very well in this job. I feel like a lot of the kids, that, especially the kids here, they don't understand how much of the world is still available to them. They all think the world is so small and they don't think they can be whatever they want anymore, but they can. And being able to talk to the kids and tell them there's so much more than you realize and so much more than you're used to seeing out there. That's my favorite part, and that's why I want to be part of this field. I would definitely do it all over again. I think that working in a detention setting has taught me a lot, and it's kind of helped shape who I am. Just because they have charges or just because they're in the system doesn't mean they're bad kids, and they just need positive role models. And if you're not sure what you want to do with your life, that means you're looking for, you're probably looking for a more positive direction for yourself. What better way to do that than in front of children who are very impressionable who are like, you know what, now I see you wanting to better yourself, I want to better myself too.